Uh, hi, hello, good morning. So last time uh, we uh, demonstrated the uh, BP file with uh, uh, eBPF load balancer project LOXILB. So, but we started it from the BP fire command line, like here, run the LOXILB start. So I also mentioned that like, I would like to uh, manage the LOXILB from BP fire uh, web uh, portal. So yeah, so this is, uh, uh, yeah, so I'm going to demonstrate uh, how we can manage L-O-X-I-L-B from the web UI. So right now here, uh, see we have uh, the L-O-X-I-L-B running, right? So if we go to our uh, web uh, UI, I added this uh, uh, web page. So right now it's enabled, so we can uh, uh, disable this uh, L-O-X-I-L-B. So we save, and then if we see, uh, there is no uh, L O X I L B process running, right? So if we check, if we have any um, uh, L B configuration, uh, you will see uh, there is the collection failed because the L O X I L B is not running. Okay, so let's uh, start the LOXILB load balancer again from the web UI. Save. Okay, so now let's uh, see if there's a process. Okay, so now the, we started the LOXILB. We can also tail the LOXILB.log. And uh, you can see the log here uh, also started, right? And uh, so now we can check if there is a LB configuration uh, since I saved this one. And uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, remove this one and then we create one from the web UI. TCP equal 80. Okay, so we deleted this uh, uh, existing uh, LB configuration. So now let's go to the web UI. So I arranged the web UI with BP Fire centric menu. So here is a load, label load balancer. The next one is a load balancer configuration. So let's come here. Now we don't have any, uh, just uh, sure we don't have LO, we don't have any LB configuration. So now let's add one from the web UI. Okay, let's uh, LB1, that's the name of the L, uh, load, of, load balancer configuration. And uh, let's give a external IP address so the client can send a request. The port is 80, we use TCP protocol, we use a, a round robin algorithm. So yeah, there is a few other uh, load balancer uh, algorithm you can choose and then we use around the robin by default so we use uh, we use default um, uh, address translation so let's uh, put in our back end uh, IP e one five so we so this uh, first you put IP address then Colon, then the, the, the weight of the endpoint, uh, yeah. And uh, then we separated the endpoint by a, by a pipe. Yeah, so this is just the initial web UI. So we added the two 
uh, back end points, both with weight one. Okay, so their listening port is also 80. Uh, we don't uh, enable monitor, we can enable monitor, but let's, uh, for demonstration, let's disable monitor. Right, so we add, and you see here, it's, uh, we added the LB1 configuration. So we can check from the command line. And uh, we have the uh, configuration populated to the LOXILB. We can also show uh, more detail, get a wide. So it is sh shows the, the endpoint with the listening port 80 with weight uh, one, external IP, okay? So now let's send a request to make sure uh, it's working. That's only listening on the uh, TCP down on the port uh, to capture the same packet. And then now let's send a request from the client here. So we get a response. And uh, since we TCP down on the green interface, so it's on the backend interface, uh, the, fir uh, the first request goes to the uh, 3.5 backend, okay? We only send one request. So now let's send a second request. Since this is a round wrapping, uh, the second request goes to 3.6 backend point, right? So we, ca we can see here, uh, we can use the this simple web UI to to add the uh, load balance uh, configuration. And uh, yeah, so we can say change the, uh, change the algorithm to hash. Oh, let, actually let's, uh, there's a, this is the edit button here. And uh, we, since we wanna change the existing configuration, let's use uh, hash or Persist, yeah, we want to persist to one client IP, uh, one backend, let's update. So now the algorithm is changed to uh, persist. Uh, let's check, let's check if uh, <coughs> the configuration is changed. Yeah, so it's uh, changed to persist. Okay, let's run TCP down again. And since we are sending requests from same client IP, so it should persist to only one backend uh, uh, server. So now it's a 3.5, right? So the second request should also go to uh, 3.5, let's see. Okay, so it, it is a 3.5, so uh, the persist algorithm works, right? Yeah, so this is just quick demo to use the web UI uh, to configure uh, EBPF uh, LOXIL below the balancer. Uh, we can add more features on the web UI, but uh, yeah, this is just for quick demonstration. Thank you for watching.